greetings of peace and joy to all of you brothers and sisters and to those who join us in worship through this live stream at the diocesan shrine of jesus the divine word in christ the king mission seminary quezon city today is friday of the fifth week of easter our mass presider is reverend father benigno beltran svd associate priest of the shrine our celebration will now begin. Please rise. and the love of God, the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. Today is first Friday. We will offer the Mass for everyone present here today and for everyone watching and participating in this Mass online. Let us now acknowledge our sins to prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mystery. Lord Jesus, your heart was pierced with the lance to show God's love to the world, Lord of mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ Jesus, you healed the wounds of sin and division. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you intercede for us with your Father in heaven. Lord, of mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us. Forgive us our sins and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. Clothe us, Lord God, with the virtues of the heart of your Son, and set us aflame with his love that conform to his image. We may merit a share in eternal redemption through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. The Apostles and Presbyters, in agreement with the whole Church, decided to choose representatives and to send them to Antioch with Paul and Barnabas. The ones chosen were Judas, who was called Barsabbas, and Silas, leaders among the brothers. This is the letter delivered by them. The apostles and the presbyters, your brothers, to the brothers in Antioch, Syria, and Cilicia, of Gentile origin, greetings. Since we have heard that some of our number, who went out without my any mandate from us, have upset you with their teachings and disturb your peace of mind. We have with one accord decided to choose representatives and to send them to you along with our beloved Barnabas and Paul. 
who have dedicated their lives to the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. So we are sending Judas and Silas, who will also convey the same message by word of mouth. It is the decision of the Holy Spirit and of us not to place on you any burden beyond these necessities, namely, to abstain from meat sacrificed to idols, from blood, from meats of strangled animals, and from unlawful marriage. If you keep free of this, you will be doing what is right. Farewell. And so they were sent on their journey. Upon their arrival in Antioch, they called the assembly together and delivered the letter. When the people read it, they were delighted with the exhortation. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. I will give you thanks among the peoples, O Lord. I will give you thanks among the people, O Lord. My heart is steadfast, O God. My heart is steadfast. I will sing and chant praise. Awake, O my soul. Awake, lyre and harp. I will wake the down. I will give you thanks among the peoples, O Lord. I will give thanks to you among the peoples, O Lord. I will chant your praise among the nations, for your mercy towers to the heavens, and your faithfulness to the skies. Be exalted above the heavens, O God. Above all the earth be your glory. I will give you thanks among the peoples, O Lord. We all rise to honor the Holy Gospel. According to John. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus said to his disciples, This is my commandment. Love one another as I love you. No one has greater love than this to lay down one's life for one's friends. You are my friends if you do what I command you. I no longer call you slaves because a slave does not know what his master is doing. I have called you friends because I have told you everything I have heard from my father. It was not you who chose me, but I who chose you and appointed you to go and bear fruit that will remain so that whatever you ask the father in my name, he may give you. This I command you, love one another. This is the gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Good morning. Brother Gregory Prakoviak SVD from Poland. Religious brothers also pronounce the vows of vow of poverty, vow of chastity, and vow of obedience, but they are not ordained to dispense the sacraments like say mass and hear confessions. You need to be very humble to join the SBD as a brother. 
work in menial jobs sometimes, but many of them are now engineers and doctors. They have been sent to school to help the priests in other jobs so that the priests can concentrate on the spiritual aspect of the faith. So Brother Gregory worked in the print, printing press of the SVD. During the time, the Nazis from Germany, the minions of Hitler, occupied Poland. So Brother Gregory and the others working in the printing press fought by printing flyers and other forms of communication, printed forms, to protest against the abuses and the occupation of the Nazis. And he told them, if ever we are caught, tell them I alone was responsible. So when the Gestapo raided the printing press, they arrested everyone there, but as directed, the other said, Brother Gregory alone was responsible. So they brought him to the concentration camp and they beheaded him. Pinugutan ng ulo si Brother Gregory Prakoviak SVD na kagaya rin ni Father Maximilian Kolbe pinagpalit ang kanilang buhay para mabuhay ang iba. No one has greater love than this to lay down one's life for one's friends. That is a special calling. Iilan lang naman yung mga heroic, yung mga bayani na tinatawag na ipalit yung buhay nila para sa buhay ng ilan. Kaya tayo, bilang pagsunod, this, I command you, love one another. Ang bigyan kong diin ngayon, what I would like to stress would be, if you love, you have to find out what love is. In Greece, during the olden times, they distinguished different kinds of love. First, of course, is eros, that's romantic love between man and woman. Storge is the love of children for their parents. Filial devotion. Filia is love for objects, like a bibliophile. Bibliophilia is love for books. Nabahira na yung filia ngayon dahil sa pedophile. Nawala naman yun nung unang panahon. You could love children. You could be a pedophile. Do good for the children. E tayo ngayon, napakasama na. Sasabihing mahal nila yung mga bata, kaya nila inaabuso ng ganun. Niluloko pa yung sarili nila. So, Eros, storge, filia, agape ang gusto ni Jesus na sabihin. Ang agape, sabi ni St. Thomas Aquinas, to will the good of the other. Maski na masama pa ang loob mo sa kanya, maski na hindi ka pa niya kinikilala, ang kabutihan mo, will the good of the other. Aliqui bonum tribuere. Halos tribute pa nga eh. To will the good of the other. Hey, ang nais kong bigyan diin ngayon ay yung ano ba ang good? Ano yung makapubuti doon sa kapatid mo? Halimbawa, yung pag may diabetic kang kasama, na siyempre, sugar is bad for them, diabetic na nga eh. Pero, there are instances when you have to give sugar in instances of hypoglycemia. Pag very low na yung kanyang sugar, hindi rin pala maganda. So, painumin mo ng soft drinks, bigyan mo ng candy. For that specific situation, what is good is sugar for a diabetic. 
So kailangan niyong analysis. Kailangan ng critical thinking. Marami ngayong mga magulang, hindi na good ng bata ay yung ano, parang ini-impose na nila yung kanila eh. Doktor ka, mag-doktor ka rin. Eh gustong magpinta ng bata. Ang daming hindi rin maligaya ngayon. What is good for your child? Yung iba din nagko-compensate. Yung ibang parent. Naghirap ako nung bata ba ako. Yung mga anak ko, hindi maghihirap na ganun. Tinatambakan ng mga material thing. Eh yung mga bata ngayon, maraming spoil. Nag-emotional distress na tuloy. Hindi na naalam ko ano ang dapat gagawin. Bawat may problema yung bata, ginagawa ng paraan. Eh kailangan ng bata to solve some of their problems. Pag hindi na kaya ng bata, at saka ka mag-intervene. Pero yung overprotective ka, yung tinatambakan mo ng mga gadgets, hindi maganda para sa mga bata. Ayan, hindi pagmamahal yan. Kaya kailangan i-analyze natin ano ang maganda para doon sa minamahal natin. Kaya, halimbawa, sa ALS, yung mas every Sunday, gusto ng SBD, sa mga intentions, mga ALS. Ang dami nating milyon ang out of school youth natin. Inanalyze ng World Bank. So, kailangan nila ng education. Pero, ang dami pa rin nagda-drop out. Drop out na nga, nagda-drop out pa rin. So, kailangan ng pangkabuhayan. Kaya may sandiwaan, pangkabuhayan, para yung good para sa ALS, hindi lang kulang ang education lang, kailangan may pangkabuhaya. So yung pagsuri kung ano yung good ang ating ipagdasal ngayon. Na hindi yung iniisip lang natin, hindi naman pala tama, hindi naman good para doon sa bata, pinipilit natin. Yung mga maralita, inuutusan din tayo na mahalin natin. Ano ang kalayalang pangangailangan? Ayuda ba na walang katapusan? Kaya ba natin yung walang katapusang ayuda? Maganda ba sa kanila yan kung masanay na lang yan, na maglupasay na lang dyan? Dahil tinatulungan naman natin. So kailangan ng ayuda, kailan? At hanggang kailan? This, I command you, love one another. And in order to love correctly, we have to analyze what is good for the person we love. At hahabaan ang istorya, hindi na natin tatalakayin. What is the common good? Kung mamahalin mo yung lipunan, yung bansang Pilipinas, makabayan, sabi ng DepEd, value yan. Paano ba mamahalin yan? Natapalan ka lang ng tatlong libong piso, pipiliin mo na si Kong. Alam mo, magnanakaw yan para mabawi yung hundred million na ginasta niya eh. Common good ba yan? Utos ba ng Panginoon yan? So, magdasal tayo ngayon sa misang ito. We have to obey the command to love as He did. Nung una, love your neighbor as yourself. No? May bago ngayon. Love your neighbor as Jesus loved you. So bilang pagsunod yan, kailangan niyong good. Talagang masuri natin ng ayos, yon ang ating ipanalangin sa misang ito. Na bilang pagsunod, sa utos ng Panginoon, kailangan we will the good of the beloved. At sana magiging tama ang ating pagsusuri kung ano yung good na yan para sa kapakanan talaga ng ating mga minamahal. Prayers of the faithful. Christ calls us his friends and commands us to love one another as he loved us. Let us show that love by willing the good of the others correctly. Pray for them, do good to them. Let our response be, Lord, let us remain in you. 
Lord, let us remain in you. That those called to preach the gospel in any way may proclaim the goodness of God's love. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, let us remain in you. That political leaders may fear God and do what is in accord with the words of Christ. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, let us remain in you. That married couples may take to heart our Lord's command to love one another, even in the most trying situations. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, let us remain in you. That the sick and the hand handicapped may find love in those who care for them. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, let us remain in you. That God may grant eternal peace to our departed brethren. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, let us remain in you. Lord God, hear our prayers. Let your love grow in us and let us remain in you so that we will bear much fruit. We ask this to Christ our Lord. Amen. and brothers, that my sacrifice and yours may become acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and for the good of all his holy church. O God, Father of mercy, who because of the great love with which you loved us, with untold goodness, gave us your only begotten Son, Grant, we pray, that being perfectly united with him, we may offer you worthy homage to Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks lord holy father almighty and eternal god through christ our lord for raised up high on the cross he gave himself up for us with a wonderful love and poured out blood and water from his pierced side the wellspring of the church's sacrament so that won over to the open heart of the savior all might draw water joyfully from the springs of salvation. And so with all angels and saints, we praise you as without end we acclaim. 
special Eucharistic prayer number four Jesus the divine word who went about doing good you are indeed holy to be glorified Lord our God because you love us and you always walk with us on the journey to the future blessed indeed is your son present in our midst when we are gathered by his love and when as once for the disciples so now for us he opens scriptures and breaks the bread therefore father most merciful we ask that you send forth the holy spirit to sanctify these gifts of bread and wine they may become for us the body and blood of our lord jesus christ on the day before he was to suffer, on the night of the Last Supper, Jesus took bread, said the blessing. He broke the bread, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, Jesus took the chalice, gave you thanks, Father. He gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you, for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. Let us proclaim the mystery of faith. Therefore, most holy Father, as we celebrate the memorial of Christ, your Son, our Savior, whom you led through his passion and death on the cross to the glory of the resurrection, and whom you have seated at your right hand, we proclaim the work of your love till he comes again, and we offer you bread of life and the chalice of eternal salvation. Look with favor on the offering of your church, in which we show forth the paschal sacrifice of Christ that has been handed on to us, and grant that by the power of the Spirit of your love, we may be counted now and until the day of eternity among the members of your Son, in whose body and blood we have communion. Bring your church, O Lord, to perfect faith and charity, together with Francis, our Pope, Onesto, our Bishop, with all bishops, priests, brothers and deacons and the entire people you have made your own especially those joining us now for this eucharistic celebration open our eyes to the needs of our brothers and sisters 
inspire in us words and actions to comfort those who labor and are heavily burdened. Make us love them truly after the example of Christ and at his command. And may your church stand as a living witness of truth and freedom, to peace and justice, that all people may be raised up to a new hope. Remember our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the peace of your Christ and all the dead whose faith you alone have known. Admit them to rejoice in the light of your face and in the resurrection give them the fullness of life. Grant also to us when our earthly pilgrimage is over that we may come to an eternal dwelling place and live with you forever. There, in communion with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, health of the sick, with St. Joseph, her spouse, with the apostles and martyrs, with Blessed Gregory Prakoviak and St. Maximilian Kolbe, and with all the saints, we shall praise and exalt you to Jesus Christ, your Son. Through him, and with him, and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Let us pray with confidence to our loving Father in the words Jesus, the divine word himself, taught us. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, and by the help of your mercy. We may be always free from sin, safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will. Who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. Peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of Christ. Peace. Peace be with you. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. This is body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ, the Son of God, who laid down his life so that we can be saved. Happy are those who accept this invitation to eat at his table. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. The body and blood of Christ bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Amen. Act of spiritual communion. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at this spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself fully to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Ito 
ako'y magsaya at magalak. Ito ang araw na ginawa ng Panginoon. Tayo'y magsaya at magalak. Magpasalamat kayo sa One of the soldiers opened his side with the lance, and at once there came forth blood and water. Let us pray. Made partakers in your sacrament of charity, we humbly <laughs> implore your mercy, Lord, that we may be conformed to Christ on earth, and Mary to be co-heirs with his glory in heaven, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. Oratio Imperata. Merciful and compassionate Father, we come to you in our need to seek your protection against the COVID-19 that has disturbed and even claimed lives. We ask you now to look upon us with love and by your healing hand. Dispel the fear of sickness and death. Restore our hope and strengthen our faith. We pray that you guide the people tasked to find cures for this disease and to stem its transmission. We thank you for the vaccines developed, made possible by your guiding hands. Bless our efforts to use these vaccines to end the pandemic in our country and the whole world. We pray for our health workers that they may minister to the sick with competence and compassion. Grant them health in mind and body, strength in their commitment, protection from this disease. We pray for those afflicted. May they be restored to health. Protect those who care for them. Grant eternal rest to those who have died. Give us the grace in these trying times to work for the good of all and to help those in need. May our concern and compassion for each other see us through this crisis and lead us to conversion and holiness. Grant all this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. We fly to your protection, O Holy Mother of God. Do not despise our petition in our necessities, but deliver us always from all dangers, O glorious and blessed Virgin. Amen. Our Lady, Health of the Sick, Saint Joseph, Saint Raphael the Archangel, San Roque, San Lorenzo Ruiz, 
San Pedro Kalungsod, Saints Arnold Jansen and Joseph Renedimitz. Please be seated for some announcement. The Diocesan Shrine of Jesus the Divine Word is currently holding its first online Flores de Mayo and Rosary prayers on all Saturdays of May at 4 p.m. except this Saturday, May 8, which will be at 2.30 p.m. We are inviting everyone to join this online activity by sending us video clips offering flowers to Mama Mary that will be shown during the live stream. Aside from flowers, offering of cash and in-kind donations of our mobile community pantry will also be appreciated. Due to physical limitations, your donations will be offered by the seminarians and other church ministry members who will be present every Saturday. Please check the link, link bit.ly slash shrine flores de mayo for more details and instructions regarding uploading of your videos and sending of your donations. Make a difference during this time of pandemic through prayers and generosity. Thank you and God bless you all. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Mass is ended. Go in peace to love and serve Jesus the Divine Word. Thanks be to God. Regina Celi Leitare Alleluia Chia Quem Eruisti Portare Alleluia Resurrexit Sicut Dixit Hallelujah.